Hi everyone, welcome back. It's that time of the month again where I sit down and I show you how naughty I've been with buying things. It is my July haul. How is it the end of July? But I'm going on a holiday soon and I cannot wait. I'm going to Mexico and I've wanted to go to Mexico basically my whole life. So I'm just unbelievably excited. It's an 11 hour flight though. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be posting so many photos from holiday on Instagram. So make sure you're following me at Freddie Cousin Brown and also on Twitter at Freddie My Love. I'll leave the links to my social media in the description box down below. So yeah, let's just get on to my July haul. I haven't got bag full of clothes to show you like I usually do because I did have a bit of a spendy month with something else which you will see. I've just been really happy with how everything's been going so I just really wanted to treat myself or I'm basically just using that as an excuse. I am. And I took a trip to Michael Kors which is my favourite and I may have bought more than one thing. Um, I did, obviously, and I'm so happy to show you because they are so beautiful, they are so me, and I think you guys are going to love them as well. I bought two bags, but the reason I did is because I have a really good friend that works in Michael Kors um, that used to work at Hollister with me, and he gets a discount that he gave to me, and the first one is... Oh, I don't know I don't know the names of them. I will find out if I can and put them in the description box so you can have a look. They're both the Safiano leather, which is the same as my black one. And this is like the classic tote bag in like the caramel. I think the colour is caramel. So it's the Jet Set Travel Tote um, in Peanut. And I just love this. It's so big and spacious. I've got some stuff in there because I've been using it. <laughs> some butter kissed popcorn. That's just something you carry every day in your handbag, isn't it? I'm so embarrassing. It's amazingly big and spacious and it's just so classic. I love this colour. Basically the idea behind all of this was I love Michael Kors. I love having a designer bag. I love having an expensive bag because I think it makes anything you wear just look better. And obviously if you do spend the money and get a good bag it is going to last you. My black one is still in perfect condition and I used it every single day. But my black one is kind of spoiling all my summer outfits, all my whites and my pinks and pastel blues. So I wanted to get a bag that I could use every day during summer so it didn't spoil my outfits. So I just think this brown is perfect because to be honest I think I can actually get away with this in the winter time as well. This is like an all year round bag and it's just a beautiful Safiano leather um, and it's just an amazing size for me. I love big handbags, just show you there. So this is going to be my everyday handbag for this summer. And yeah, I'm just absolutely delighted with it. I think it's beautiful. And then the second one is obviously super, super special as well. It's the little pastel pink version of my black one. If you've watched my What's In My Bag video, you'll see I've got the Jet Set Safiano tote. So it's got the pockets. It's the exact same bag as my black one, a size smaller. Even though it still looks pretty big, my other one is massive. So this is the medium size, I think, but they only do one size in this color. I was only gonna get the brown one, and I saw this and I was like, I can't not have that. This bag personifies me. No, I personify this bag. What am I trying to say here? If I was a bag, this would be me. I've never seen a more Freddy bag in my whole life, which is why I had to have it, because it's my color, it's my style, it's my everything. It's my life. Beautiful pastel pink, beautiful leather. I'm gonna save this as a best bag. This is not gonna be an everyday bag. Obviously the pale color is gonna get marked really easily, so I don't wanna be taking this out every day, which is why I'm taking the brown one out as my everyday bag. <sighs> Need a drink. So yeah, this is my life in a bag, my life in an object. It represents me, it defines me. All of those things. I'm probably going to get comments saying, "Don't you shouldn't let material things define you," but you know what? It does, and I don't care. So next, I do have one dress to show you, and this was given to me by Hollister because they were kind enough to send me VIP to Lovebox Festival in Victoria Park in London, which was so much fun. You'll probably have seen the pictures on my Instagram. I got this amazing like glitter face paint done. It looked incredible. So you'll probably have seen that on Instagram already. And this is the dress I wore. I do want to just show it on here as well because I have a lot more subscribers than I do Instagram followers. Why is that? Why do you guys subscribe to me on here and then you don't follow me on Twitter? It's really sad. But anyway, so I'll just show you this dress. It's from 
Hollister, like I just said, and it's this beautiful navy blue, like double layer cami dress. It's got the cross strap detail at the back. No, I'm not even gonna try and describe this pattern, but it's really pretty. It's got the double layer, like this frilly layer at the top and then just comes down at the bottom and it's got that lovely um, detail pattern running along the bottom. And I really love this. It was lovely to wear on the day. It's a very kind of summer festively dress. And I'm gonna be taking this on holiday with me as well because it's just lovely, really nice quality. I love the quality of Hollister clothes. Obviously I used to work there, I know very well. Um, I've had so much stuff for uniform. So yes, that is that dress and that is beautiful and I love it. And then I've just got a couple of pairs of shoes to show you. Like I said in my last video, I'm making more of an effort to expand my shoe collection because it is rubbish at the moment, believe it or not. I know I'm a shopaholic, my shoe collection you probably imagine is fabulous. It's not and I'm working on it. The first pair of shoes, actually both pairs of shoes are from New Look. I will link them down below in the description box. And the first pair are these heels. Now, I am truly obsessed with these and I showed these to my mum and she thought they were like designer. Seriously, they look so much more expensive than they are. They're just strappy around the ankle and strappy around the toes as well. And they're these beautiful like caramel brown, really soft leather, obviously like not real leather, but still. And then they go down into this like wooden kind of I don't know how you describe it, but it's like a wooden heel with this beautiful gold bottom and they're the perfect height for me because they're still high but they're not super duper high because as you all know I don't like my heels to be like giant, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. I wore these with my white Zara dress, um, which you've seen in a haul somewhere, the one with the lacy sleeves and it just looked like incredible and I got so many compliments on my shoes and I kept on looking at my shoes all night and I was just like oh. I've got this right. I just think these are the classiest, like most sophisticated but pretty stylish shoes I have seen for a long time. I never look at shoes and like, oh my God. I cringe myself out in every video and no one really seems to comment, so maybe it doesn't cringe you out. I cringe myself out so much. I think that's the story of everyone's life though. No one likes their boys on camera. No one likes looking at pictures of themselves and it's the same for me. I know I come across really confident talking to a camera and I am but I still have to edit this and I still cringe my life out. And then my next pair of shoes, also from New Look, are these beautiful, cute little white loafers. And they're just the classic tassel loafers. These are really lovely. They were really affordable as well and they've been so comfortable. They haven't rubbed at all. I've been wearing them like every day. They go with every summer outfit of mine. They've been perfect. Loafers look cute with anything. They look good with a dress. They look good with a skirt, shorts, jeans. Yeah, some pretty white ones. You can't really go wrong if you ask me. And finally, I have bought a couple of lipsticks that I want to show you. The first is a MAC one. And this is from their latest limited edition collection, which I'm not sure what it was called. Is it Mac is Beauty or something? And it was very summery. There were a lot of really pretty pinks and corals and that kind of thing. Um, and this is called French Twist. It's a luster, so luster is quite sheer on the lips. But when I put this on, I didn't realize it was a luster. Um, I thought it was a cream sheen because it did seem to come out quite pigmented. So ignore the luster part, it's really good. This is my signature perfect colour and I love MAC lipsticks. I wear them not every day but every time I wear a lipstick it is one of these so I might as well buy another one because I'm going to eventually. And it's just nice to add MAC lipsticks to your collection if you do have one. Oh, they do smell perfect. They smell like cream eggs. I do have a genuine love for MAC lipsticks because they are just so creamy and non-drying, the colours are beautiful, they smell lovely, they don't smell like cheap drugstore lipsticks, I hate to say it, not all drugstore lipsticks smell bad but a lot of them do. And then my next lipstick and my last item in my haul is the Rimmel Kate Nude Collection lipstick and this is in the shade 42, I really wanted the shade 40 but they didn't have any but this looked just as nice to be honest. I'm wearing it on my lips now, I'm just gonna put a bit more on. As you can see, it's completely different to all my other lipsticks that I wear, it's just so unique. I am joking, I really, really like this actually. It is really similar to all my other lipsticks, but this is the color that I like, this is the color that I think suits me, so I'm gonna 
buy more of them and explore them. And I really like this one. This is a nice, cheap alternative to a MAC lipstick. A MAC is 15 50 I think this is £5.50. Um, and they're always on offer. And this is a really, really nice lipstick. And they have loads of pretty nudes that suit all different skin tones. And the packaging is so pretty. The packaging is what, like, drew me in. It's just pale pink and it's got Kate's, like, signature with a little heart and the classic Rimmel crown at the top. I just love it. This is just a really pretty one for your makeup bag. Really affordable. And as you can see, it's a lovely colour. Just the perfect pinky nude and it is really creamy and nice on the lips actually and it definitely stays on I put this on yesterday literally just to try it and I forgot that I had it on and it stayed on for like hours because I just forgot it was there so the staying power is really good on this really affordable beautiful color beautiful packaging um can't go wrong I would definitely go and check out the collection in boots I think it's like buy one get one half price at the moment so it's definitely worth having a look <laughs> Oh my cringe. You can't. Isn't she a sassy girl? Sisters. Oh! The joy of life. The joy of life, sisters. <laughs> So that's the end of my July haul. I'm sorry I didn't have loads of like clothes and outfits to show you like I usually do, but obviously I spent a bit of money on my Michael Kors bag. So let me know what your favorite things were in the description box and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will leave all the links down below in the description box. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking on the red button underneath me that says subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you next time. Bye. Bye! Bye. Bye. I bet loads of boys fancy you on this. <laughs>